Sorry, guys. Just trying to wolf down a sandwich real quick. Absolutely inhaling this bad boy. Hey, what's up? Sealand's never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Just like Gandalf, I am basically the gray and the white wizard all rolled into one. Um, that, yeah, that's exact. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But I hope you guys are doing well. I'm glad I was able to get on today. Uh, if you were in the Discord, Mombot was obviously um, saying that. Uh, I yeah, I had, I had some like appointments this morning that I had to make. They were running long, but we uh, we moved at the speed that we could to get here as fast as we possibly could. But with brown hair, yeah. So I'm following the YouTube series. First time here. How ahead is this? Uh, one stream. I believe um, maybe two streams. It's one to two streams ahead. So we are at the tail end of the off season that you just saw us enter. If you're watching. Yeah. About three Germans ahead. Dude, that is so true. We're about three. We need one more though. How many Germans do we need to sign today? Chat. One more. We need one more. Is Everton out of crippling debt in your save? Dude, I pro probably not. Let's be honest. They're probably not. Faux real, thank you so much for the gifted sub, dude. Thank you for gifting a sub. Read the meat. Thank you for the 40. Dude, it's been 47 months. That's four years in a month, Reed. Holy goodness. Loibster, thank you for the 26 months. Said if letter is male, then a bill is female. Fee, it, it fee, as in like a fee you have to 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 pay like female. We're old, bro. I know. Reed, what are we doing here? That okay? All right, all right, all right. I'll give you that. I will give you that, Loibster. That's well done. You know, like no, I I. I'm going A minus. I'm going A minus. I think it was A level. I think it's an A level bit of execution there. Mike Ellis, thank you so much for the Prime as well. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Bado, thank you for the 15 months, dude. Thank you for supporting Zealand Corp. Enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Make sure you get in the subsection of the Discord. Uh, I appreciate your favorable review. I got you. Would you ever consider doing a Serie A save? Yeah, I've, I've managed in Serie A in the past. It's actually been a really long time. Uh, Mojo, thank you for the 15 months, brother. I appreciate you using $5 of Jeff Bezos' money as well. You, uh, you and Bado. Chip shot as well. Thank you for the 14 months. $5 for Bezos again. You get it. You get it. You get it. No, I, I did get the joke. Okay, come on. I did get the joke. All right, I did get the joke. I got the joke. I totally I, I totally got the joke, dude. What? How do I join the Discord? Uh, Thomas, so there's an exclamation point Discord right there. Uh, and if you link your Twitch account to your Discord account, there's like a cool way that it's all connected. So it will literally just like, you know, <laughs> it'll just sync up and then a whole other subsection of the Discord will kind of unveil itself to you. That's where you can get and save your saves and play in the Hampions League and stuff like that. Um, but if you're in the Discord, you normally get updates about the streams. Obviously, I'm really late today. I'm sorry about that, guys. I had the appointments this morning. But if I don't post something in schedule updates, I am going to stream. I'm just late. Um, I will say... One of the appointments I had this morning was a dentist appointment. No cavities. That's what I'm talking about, chat. Zero cavities. Massive. They did tell me I probably needed to floss a little more, so I wouldn't go that far, Gozer. But you know what? We got a zero cavities. We're taking that dub. You know, they said, we'll see you in six months. Clean bill of health. I was like, mm, hell yeah. She was like, you could floss more. And I was like, I knew that. Deep in my heart of hearts, I knew that.
All right. All right. All right, ma'am. What's up, Z Lizzy? Oh, that's my underground rapper name. I'm a little aqua in the streets. I'm Z Lizzy under the streets. Oh, Sirloin, thank you for the two years. Congrats on your diamond bacon. Thanks for throwing the forehead in. I'm going to go with a B on that one. That was a good one, though. I feel like I've heard it a few times, but that was a good one. That's a banger. We take that. We take that as the dad joke. All right, bring it in. Bring it in, team. Bring it in, team. We're going right into some football manager today. We could probably only stream like two and a half hours because I am going home tonight. Uh, I'm flying home tonight. Going to see the family. It's going to be great. Uh, going down to Florida. So if this is the last time we speak because Florida just consumes me, then it's been an absolute pleasure, everybody. Um, yeah, don't worry. Well, the streams will be normal next week. They'll just be from uh, they'll be from the home setup, you know. So more Mombot content, uh, more Florida content. But yeah, we've got like the we've got a setup at home so that I can spend time with my family and be wholesome. So the streams next week will be from the uh, home setup. The Zealandisms will be from the home setup. We may wrestle an alligator on a live stream. You know, normal, normal stuff. Uh, but we've got West Brom literally kicking off a match right now. And we have very big transfer targets. We got like eight days left uh, on this transfer deadline day. And I just want to make sure that we've got the right guys offered out right now. So he's offered out. So Simone Scotta is not offered out. I mean, would he, he prefer to stay? Well, you know, I would love to collect an offer here, an offer there. Nick, Nico Audrin, we have him offered out. Hector Gamera. We continue to work on literally any deal that will get Hector Gamera off of this team. Team's a little bloated right now, and we know that. But there is one glorious individual that we desire above all others that we must have today. A player that must be acquired at all costs. The Schwartz, Patrick Schwartz. We must have Patrick Schwartz today. But that is uh, tomorrow's problem. First, we have today's problem, which is whatever else we got going on here. Okay, so let's get rid of the unavailables so we can really refine this a little bit. George is going to come in and play that. You know what? I'm going to play a little 4 2 4. Who are we playing? West Brom? Yeah, we should boat race these guys. Okay. Uh, give me Rodriguez coming up, and then Seca's going into the midfield, and then Guerra's going to drop back here, and then Rico Lewis is going to go out that way. And then uh, Francisco Rosales is going to step right there. Step, young blood. Okay. Uh, there, there, easy, easy, easy. Kaya, Conda, McIntosh. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, we'll do that. Literally how it was before. I'm just moving players around to make myself look like I know what I'm doing. Lemmy, thank you so much for the gifted sub, dude. I appreciate you supporting the stream with kindness and giving less, the ad-free experience, the emotes, and everything else. We're just collecting Germans, and so that's fired up the Julian Brand contingent in the chat. Sell Indrik. Look, eh, you know, I don't think anybody wants to spend the amount of money that I would want to get for Indrik. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to sell him for like $75 million. I don't think we get a good return on that. If we can sell him for Mikey more money, $120 million, I would take that, and we would roll that into uh, Schwartz and Calvin, and then we call it a day. But... I don't know if anybody's down to clown like that. Okay, you, Jason Malumbi. You. Why is he going to attack? I think, uh, I think support is fine. I think you should not be a ball-playing defender. I don't think you're very good at it. No offense, but I mean offense intended. All right, that should be good. We should be able to stomp these dudes. Should be able to lay down a dub. We're coming off a 3 nothing loss if you weren't with us yesterday. we play, There weren't a lot of shots in the match, but with all the key moments, we lost every key moment and then got a red card against Manchester City. So I do expect to see a much better performance today. I expect to see us step out and deliver. You know, we beat Wolves 5 nothing to start the season. That's what we want.
right here, that type of performance. Is the takeover for over? No. We were in a transfer embargo for literally a day, dude. All it did was cancel the two transfers I was negotiating, and then it ended. There was no point to it. Congratulate my nation of Georgia. On dude, I made a whole Zealandism video about Georgia making the Euros. I think it's awesome. Seriously, congratulations. Welcome to a major tournament for the first time. Oh, let's go. Rodriguez. I didn't know he had that in the locker. He didn't because he didn't complete the pass, but, you know, whatever. All right, Seca, Rodriguez. Ooh. Man, he is a super tank. He's offside. And he missed it. Wow. Mason, thank you for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Shakia will destroy them. Hey, at least they're on the dance floor. Look, I think Georgia's got a chance to get out of the group, too. I mean, anybody in the Euros has got a chance to get out of the group. 16 of the 24 teams get out. Make the pass. That's not the pass I was thinking of, but that was hot! <laughs> That's not how I wanted to start my day. Conspiracy theory, I, don't, I think Levy wanted you to sign those two players so he invented a takeover. Dude, honestly, I'm buying that. Totally. That's exactly what happened. I would believe that 100%. Uh, do you better save that, Gong said. I am not giving up a goal after the couple of chances we just had. If a guy that big goes down, you know it's a foul. Said like Greece won the Euros with one of the worst teams in the world. Anything's possible at major tournaments. That is a gigantic, massive misconception. You know the year Greece won the Euros? Out of every European nation, Greece had the fifth most players playing in the Champions League proper. Fifth most. And then every team that's ever won the Euros has been top five in that category. Greece is not good now. They were good then. They weren't sure. Them winning the Euros was still a massive upset. It would be the equivalent of like Croatia winning the Euros, like this time around or something. But it was not nearly as big of an upset as people make it out to be because Greece has like gotten worse, obviously, since they won it. Yeah, they had that Greek team in 04. Not only, I believe, multiple Greek clubs made the Champions League group stage, they also had dudes that play, you know, like, oh, get in, Mickey Vandeman. Oh, Mickey. You're so fine. Denmark, did, I would say Denmark winning the Euros was a bigger upset than uh, Greece, yeah. Denmark didn't even qualify. You know, that's the craziest story ever. Denmark didn't even qualify, and then I think it was Yugoslavia. Like, that was when the war started, and so Yugoslavia had to pull out, and so they just brought in the next team that was closest to making it. <laughs> it was, and it was Denmark, and then they literally won the entire tournament. They didn't even qualify for the Euros, and then they won it. That's one of the craziest, like, sentences probably in, in football history. Big up the Danes. Oh, come on, Seca. Oh, slick ball by Seca. God, Mark. What is this finishing, guys? Mark's not supposed to be the guy, but Kieran Tell being terrible has not been fun. Half the Denmark team were literally at the beach. I mean, yeah, they didn't qualify. Like, UEFA had to pull out the moves just to make sure that the, there wasn't, like, a hope and hole in the tournament because, like, Yugoslavia just ended up in a war. Wish you many positive emotions and hope that you don't lose so much again. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, I too, am hoping I don't lose that much again. That was really poor defending by Chikichi. At least he defends with a lot of energy. Good touch, Inacio. Let's do something. Sounds like a Zealand video to me. I feel like it's a story that a lot of people know, though. You know, Schmeichel was the goalkeeper, 
And I mean, the Euros was a smaller tournament in 90, so they didn't have to win quite as many matches, but they did have to, you know, beat all the teams that were supposed to beat them, which is a bit tricky. LaFergia, 48 months, dude. Dude, thank you so much for the 12 gifted subs, Lafergia. I hope you're having a good one. Thank you for the four years. Oh, Mark tried to score one for you. Chad, show some love to uh, Lafergia for giving 12 people ad free for a month. The emotes, the bacon, all that good stuff. There's a goal. It's Gonzalo Inacio. It's 2 0. It's all the set pieces for Spurs. But thank you so much, Lafergia. I especially, I mean, for the tier two, for supporting the channel for four years, for, for giving to the community. You're an awesome, you're, you're awesome. Thank you. I'm glad we, I'm glad we can make this game a little more comfortable for you, Lafergia, you know. Zaray, thank you so much for the prime as well. How deep into the season are we now? This is match three. We spent a lot of time in the off season. Uh, a very important transfer window, obviously. So it is August 23rd. This is our third match of the season. So you have uh, you haven't missed a lot of like competitive matches if you've watched the YouTube. You just miss like the transfer dealings. You feel me? Oh yo man, they suck defending set pieces. I'll say it for them. They're very bad at it. They are not good at it. Man, that's good. Oh, any Hong Kong billionaires about this stream? Yeah, you got any? If you have any in your back pocket, please tell the class because there's no, there are no Hong Kong billionaires lurking around for me right now. I friggin' wish, dude. All right, Gongstead, let's move it up the line now. Tell Shikichi. Oh, what is that? Oh, and, not, and what is that? Thank goodness. I need Rosetta Stone to understand what my team is doing. Simonson, thank you so much for the prime. <laughs> Netherlands is going to win the Euros. Has the Netherlands ever won Euros? Question mark. So I feel like if you're Dutch, you would know that. I don't know that off the top of my head. 88. Okay. Cool. I'm glad the Dutch have a major tournament. Because I know they don't have the World Cup. The World Cup is just pain and heartache for them. Oh, that is sick if he's not off, but he's definitely offside. <laughs> that is a nasty goal if this rule didn't exist. Dang. Best offer is a Singaporean billionaire, dude. As long as it starts with a B, I'm so, I'm in. Give me a give me your billionaires. You know how like uh, <laughs> the Statue of Liberty is like give me your give me your tired and your hungry and your sick or whatever. My Statue of Liberty is give me your billionaires. Please buy this club. Oh oh. Give it the bus kiss right now. Unbelievable goal. It's give me your tired, your poor. All right, cool. Thank you. I obviously didn't know. I knew there was a quote like that. I just didn't know what it was. Worst takeover by far is the fan takeover. I didn't even know that was in the game. I make tutorials about that. I had no idea that was in the game. 
Riot until Z signs Tiago News. That dude's nuts. I still follow that dude on Instagram. That dude is a male model that plays football sometimes. I mean, seriously. Give me your loanies and your billionaires. Give me your loanies, your billionaires. Anything that works for you. Dude, Javi Guerra's on a yellow. Give me uh, Marcelo Enrique. So, Jagichi's not match sharp. We'll, um, I'm going to get Karen Tell off for Mushaid Kaya. We'll just see how he plays. Uh, Festi Ebisele. Who's not? Uh, oh, give me Simone Scotto. I'm trying to work on some match sharpness. I don't know if he's sticking around, right? But try and work on a little match sharpness. And then give me Kazu Kanda for Endrick. You know, I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a, I trust you to make a difference today. Go out there and make me proud. I want you to think of me as a, as a father figure here. Make me proud. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh darn dang it. This is a good performance, though. I mean, I would have loved if we could, like, score a goal from the run of play that looked normal to save our life, but... Hey, it's me! <laughs> Dude, I'm playing for West Brom. That's crazy. Oh, shank it. There you go. Did we block that? Oh. You have less money than before the takeover when you have a fan takeover. That is hilarious. That sucks. What season is this? I think it's our ninth season of the save, which is kind of crazy. We've been able to get to the point that we're at so quickly. Uh, that's a problem because that looked perfectly timed. That is tremendous defense by Gonzalo. And I. I never considered selling you. Not even once did I consider selling you. Not one, not one time. George the Hammer. No, what? What the hell, man? I'm just trying to get you sharp from the last little nagging injury that you picked up. Good eyes. I was I clearly wasn't paying attention. That's definitely not the clean version. <laughs> Who's in Paris? It's actually Will Ferrell. That's where they recorded that bit for the song. Yeah. Wagwan, my generals in Paris. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. We have not scored a decent, normal looking goal in this uh, in this match. Whatever. Let me do this. Thank you for the four months. I tried to catch some fog earlier. Missed. I, I, yeah, I'm going to go B minus. All right, I'm going to go B minus. OK, thank you. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. Yeah. Rashford wanted 600K a week only. I mean, that's still insane, though. The guy, that's why, the, that is why the, the clubs like Manchester United can't move anybody because they give these contracts that nobody else can pay. They're like, like, it's almost like that. The top few clubs are almost out of touch with like 
how much everybody else is getting paid. George, it's a bruise, man. You have a bruised leg, George. You can't have the nickname The Hammer and then come out with a bruised knee. Right? It's a contact sport, George. Somebody's going to get hit. It's probably going to be you because you're really annoying to play against. George, Jorge, The Hammer, absolutely absurd. Rashford's rumored to go to McDonald's League. Ooh. He's been haunting France for years ever since he scored that penalty. I would feel weird if Rashford left United. But I also get why he might need to leave. Because if they really come in and make the decision that they don't think he's going to be able to be a part of, like, a Manchester United squad that's at the top level again. But when you have a homegrown player like that, I feel like it's really hard to just get rid of them. Wow, Cabela Mocoena's request on the transfer list by request for a hundred million dollars you remember when we signed this guy for three hundred twenty-five thousand at saint tatien look at the stonks on that one boys yeah well i think it's also it, like when it comes to registration which is always very complex and things like the premier league having somebody like rashford that's clearly at least a good first team player who is club grown that is really really valuable Registration wise. Can't overrate that. Yo, chill. Wait. Oh, okay. It's over 100 million. Vuskovic. That sucks. Who doesn't want to leave? Is Vuskovic? Oh, yeah. He wants to stay. Uh, yep. Uh, Hector Gomera. We've got, I mean, there's a lot of clubs. Okay. There are a lot of clubs. All right. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be totally transparent. I'm desperate. Every day I get a little more desperate, and that is encouraging to me. Because I do believe that, you know, the more desperation hits, the better things are going to be looking. If we could sell Vuskovic, Gamera, and Audrin for the amounts that I just offered them out, my entire transfer window will come together. Every single part of my transfer window will come together. If we can make those three sales, what does cutback youth recruitment actually do? Lowers the level of your youth recruitment. It also saves you money. It is not something you really should ever be doing in FM. It is very hard to create a situation where you'd be doing that and you're not already fired. <laughs> now, if you're taking over a club that's coming out of administration, that is probably the only acceptable reason to be lowering your level of youth recruitment and junior coaching. Fabian Levy is headed to Bayern. That makes me sad and upset. I don't like that. I'm going to offer him to Porto because they're just kind of sitting here. Yeah, sure, that's cool. That's the Porto I wanted. Um, is it FC Porto or Porto FC? I might be able to narrow it down. Goodness gracious, dude. Now, schedule, so... If I don't start the stream at 11, the schedule skips forward to the next day, and I'm basically always late. So unless there's something posted in the Discord and schedule updates, I'm streaming. But FCP, whoop. Yeah, it didn't work either. Uh, okay, at least we were able to pull them to the top by typing in their full exact name. I guess we didn't do that, but uh, let me be straight up with you. Unspecified. Come on, Porto. I'm going to bait you in here. I'm going to bait you in, Porto. Please tell me we can get a deal here. Ugh. Now, the song doesn't need to be clean. I just figured that, that that other one was probably a little leaning into the hard uh, the hard side of it. 
Searching for the clubs. Yeah, well, clearly that screen where you're, like, searching for clubs, FM just really hasn't put a lot of time in making that, like, an accessible, functional screen, you know? Uh, they they just haven't. What is, wait, what is Real Sociedad doing dishing out $21 million a year in a contract? That's pretty crazy. This guy's really good for 19 years old. He's really good. He might, uh, maybe he's one of those guys that has, um, like, bad, uh, bad potential prediction you know what i mean like his 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 potential is is better than that because his ability for a 19 year old is really really high and we just saw psg sign a guy like that and he was um you could tell you could tell he was good you could tell you know he had that look in his eye <laughs> that was a high quality player there hey zealand i use your skin but i don't get the attributes window on the right in scouting reports how do i change that so that has to do with the zoom percentage and the resolution you're playing at. So basically, if the, if there isn't enough room for it to be there, it can't be there. It, like the very oversimplified version of that, right? But if you if you you know zoom out your game a little bit, or if maybe you're playing in a smaller resolution than you actually uh, like, you can play in a bigger resolution depending on what screen you're playing on. Then it will uh, then it will appear there, uh, appear there. That's the like one of the hard parts about designing skins is that you have to account for a lot of different resolutions, you know, because everybody's playing it on like a different sized uh, screen, you know. All right, we need to hit some sales, dude. We need to hit some sales, brother. It's freaking Al, Al, uh, you know, Aldhelm Garnacho. He's looking great these days. Love that picture. Love that. Only recently joined this save. Is there any chance of a brief recap? Fortunately, we've got exclamation points that help walk you through uh, what happened. Also, uh, if you are not familiar with the Li Zealand Live, which is our live channel, we have uh, an entire team, thanks to you guys subscribing, that is dedicated to editing down the streams into episodes uh, so that you are able to basically watch it as a show. Um, and you can watch the whole save from the very beginning. Heck, you can watch the saves from the last two years. Uh, you know, from the very beginning, uh, all of the saves that we've done, uh, all of them are, are edited down as episodes and they're up on that channel. Shout out to Jay Ricky and uh, Gadget who do that stuff now. They do a very, very good job. Master sales negotiator Zealand's about to go crazy. Dude, I, I freaking hope. Okay. Do I have a database for Serbia? Dude, Serbia is already in the game. You don't need it. I mean, you could get a database, I'm sure, for the Serbian lower leagues, but I think the top two Serbian leagues are... I, I know the top Serbian league is in there. Okay, well, I would be asking for less than that, and this guy's a 20-year-old defensive midfielder that is not very good, so... Hey, can we get a sale? A sale? No, no, my God. At least Jarrell Hato's back. He's missed the first three games of the season. We'll start working him back to sharpness now. Oh, I am not enjoying any of this. I'm not enjoying any of this. Why? Why does nobody have any money? All right, Norwich. Norwich. Oh, there's only one Norwich? Yeah, all right, whatever, dude. Norwich apparently has the money, so I am uh, I'm interested in that. Going Beagle. I actually like him as an academy guy. We're going to let him do his thing. Vuskovic is drawing interest from uh, Atlanta and Atletico Madrid. Bro. Uh, bro. We're not going to get a big sale. I think that's pretty clear at this point. Like a Gonzalo Inacio or a Mickey Vandeven where they get like a, a monster move. Simone Skoda would be nice if that hit tomorrow. I doubt it will, though. I've not had a lot of success with the specific team offer out stuff. You lack the fire. Come on, Bristol City. You're in the Premier League. Werder, Bremen, Impoli. You don't have $30 million to get yourself Nicholas Audren. What are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? I need offers. I need offers. I need offers on the table so I can assess my options here. I need to make $60 million appear. How the hell are we going to do that, guys? No? Porto rumored to be interested in the player. I think that rumor is a lie. 
personally. Uh, there's no immediate intermediary sale either. All right. <clears throat> All right, we're good. I think I just like hiccuped while I was clearing my throat. Would not recommend. Kind of sucked. Low key, high key, oh, like high key, sucked eggs. Not fun. Yeah, yo, exactly. Huh? No, I have no idea. No idea what just happened there. Uh, Daniel Colombo. I might get somewhere near my team. I don't know. He is homegrown, which is why he's here. Oh, this dude's not bad for a 16 year old. All right. You're pretty bad for a 19-year-old. Love the ball control, though. Excellent ball control. I am hating this, though. I am just stuck with these few players, and it's not even the wage, man. Oh. Oh, that is not bad at all. That is not bad at all, man. We got our draw for the Champions League. Our pot threes are Sociedad and Salzburg. Our pot twos are Napoli and Atletico is a bit tough, but Napoli is pretty par for the AC Milan is one of our pot ones. Arsenal is the other one, but that is a really approachable eight game Champions League schedule. Who's first? Uh, okay, that's just not working. Um, Milan, dude, okay. Milan and Atletico Madrid to start is not the easiest way to go about things. But uh, it gets easier after that, obviously. Literally, Milan away, Atletico Madrid at home with Newcastle right after it. Like, okay. All right. Musco. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I do. I, I just read something that you said, and I agree with what you said. I, I think that I am making this harder on myself than I need to. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, because this guy's in the transfer list, we can move him all the way down to surplus to requirements. Uh, Hector Gamera should also be moved. This, I, I made a key mistake. I have made a key mistake on this uh, transfer window. We have not surplus to requiremented uh, the guys that we, are, uh, that we are looking to move. He is not on the transfer list. That is on purpose. We do not want to start a war with Simone Skoda because he does have a role to play with us this season. But I definitely made a mistake in not surplus to requirementing those three guys, kind of letting them know that there is no role to play with the team this year and that they need to move and find a uh, find a new place to play. But yeah, we made uh, at least we made some cash. Fifteen point eight five million for getting to the Champions League league stage. What's up? Uh, oh no, sorry. A lot of road matches. What's that? Oh, that's September 6th. So we don't start our fixture congestion until I believe next week, which is, uh, which is nice. Uh, okay. So I had to do a uh, defending engage, defending disengage right on that situation. And we'll be fine. I like you offset, but we've had a couple of rap songs in a row. Let's mix it up. Uh, Sam, thank you so much for the prime. Yeah, we did not do everything that we could do to make them feel like they didn't belong at the team. Uh, so that's that, that, that really literally is just my bad. Should have thought of it. Didn't think of it. This is day before the match. Cool. But we still need uh, match sharpness. Very important for all of these lads. Uh, they need it. Oh, my God. I know there's some interest. How is there no offer out of those teams? All right, League Cup, what you got for me? Jesus. 
What the? Good God, man. It's Manchester United first round. <laughs> I what? How many how many even prem prem matchups are there? There's a Bournemouth Arsenal and there is a that's it. The only other prem versus prem matchup is Bournemouth Arsenal. Tottenham Man United third round of the League Cup, September 2nd. And so it begins. This being our final match before the fixture congestion hits. It was a nice run. Always really peaceful at the beginning of the season before you have to worry about the grand shuffle of things. But yeah, this match uh, be important to get match sharpness ready so that whoever gets on the field against Manchester United will be ready to go. So that's good. Please on the offer out. Please, 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 please give me money. Somebody give me money for players. I'm desperate. You know, it might be uh, it might be a good opportunity to ask for an increase in transfer budget and an increase in the payroll budget, considering the secure financial status of the club. You know, I know that it, our our owner Daniel Levy is notorious for his ability to increase stuff. You know, he's 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 known as a big spender, right? Known just as a guy that spends money in order to try to improve the team. But maybe that could help us on deadline day. Fluminense just come in for Audrin. All righty. The Brazilian team, dude, I am pretty desperate. So if you can spot me, I mean, come on. Okay. I am going to be pretty amenable here. I feel like you don't actually have that much money. Okay. All right. I don't want to sell him for 16 million does not help us. We have to get the amount up higher. 16 million does not help us. We'll offer him out again. I'll ask agent about market interest. I believe one or more offers worth around 20 million. Yeah, do that. Give me those offers. Give me those offers right now. Nothing we can act on right now. Well, yeah, I am. Uh, I'm working on it. 30 million is as low as I can go. Prefer to be a Tottenham, but he's hoping to speak to other clubs. Dude, Simone Skoda, I really, really appreciate how amenable you are about all this. That I can just throw you on the transfer list at this moment. And you're going to be okay with that. That makes me incredibly happy. Because maybe just with a transfer listing, we will be able to move Simone Skoda. We have to continue once, then we'll offer him out. Then we'll lower him to not being a part of the team and offer him out, which is harsh, but if we can sell all those three guys and Simone Skoda, we can make the three signings I wanted to make. Ben L. Hogg, Calvin, the German. And to do that, I need like, uh, I need to get like 100 million from transfers. <laughs> In the next couple of days. Easy. E oh, it's so easy, dude. Give me a real challenge. Seriously. You, I know I can't negotiate that $20 million offer. I am aware. But, you know, we are pretty desperate to try and get Schwartz into this team. And I don't think there's a ton of money in Audrin. I think the best offer we could get is probably 40 if we hold him. I think there's more value in selling Audrin right now. Because of what we can get if we move him. Yeah, we need to make deals. I'm, I'm making deals. He's getting now. Yeah, he's not so he's not getting worse overall. Like he like his attributes are going down at the moment, Skoda. But okay, now I should be able to. We we're able to stop it on that day. We we're able to. Yeah, I, I like Simone Skoda. I saw some of you guys saying that. I like Simone Skoda. I just um.
Wow, a lot of teams. Okay, uh, unspecified. We totally just want to get a feel for who. Uh, we told we we just want to get a feel. Try selling youth team players. It's a good thought, but we kind of did that last year. There's not like a lot of uh, guys on this squad that aren't like down here just getting fitness that are good. Like this guy, we want to loan out, which I freaking forgot about. Um, Poor Insamba. He's the only one that allegedly has any value. His actual asking, his actual value is like $2 million. And same thing here. We've got Sergeant. Isn't he on loan? Did you turn down all of your stupid loans again, man? I have accepted multiple loan moves for Maximus Sergeant, and he continues to uh, not do that. Makanya, we don't want to get rid of. Real's got really good potential. Tommy Jones. That's a lot of value. I doubt we'd be able to get that at all. Arantes, Morris. Yeah, that's weird value. Makes me think that dude's uh, potential is actually really good. Yeah, but those, those, sales, those sales are not hitting. All right, those aren't a uh, 20 million. Those are not 20 million. Oh, these are the intermediary offers. Oh, so these are negotiable. These are negotiable. These are the intermediary offers, right? Uh, so they, they, this has nothing to do with the um the other situation. Nicholas Audrin, we would get 24 million out of that sale. Yep. We're taking that. We're we're taking that. I like Nico Audrin, but we are taking that. Time to time to move, Nico. We're going to reject that one. He wants to go to Las Palmas in uh, La Liga, and we will let him go. So we've done the first deal. We've done the first deal. Now, we're in, we're in my like songs. We were in my like songs uh, yesterday. We were, my, we were enjoying it, so we're just in my like songs today. I am a Floridian. I've got some Kodak Black in there. Oh, wait, is that's the glitch, isn't it? It won't stay at that price. Ooh, so I can't talk to him about the payroll, but I can talk to him about the transfer budget. Oh, we only recently updated the club budget. Why even give me a chance to talk if you're just going to bounce me immediately? All right, 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 man. All right, you know, I don't even, I, I don't even care. Oh, uh, Sander Slater, thank you for the 28 months. <laughs> That's true. Happy Easter, everybody. Or happy, I guess, I guess it's Good Friday today, right? Then Easter be this weekend. Oh, that's true. I'm going to do Easter stuff on Sunday. Nice. Okay, Canelio. Interesting. Um... Okay, I'm going to stay attacking at Everton. This is the match that a lot of people point to as the one that lost us the league. So we want to we want we want to come out and be pretty dominant here. Girl Hato working his way back. Hopefully that sharpness is on the way. Okay, well, well dude, it, this is not even in my like songs. Oh, I have um, I have like smart search on. I was like, I don't even know what this song is. We have options as a Basuma replacement, and that German is one of those options as a Basuma replacement. We have made additions to the team. Our roster is not, like, lacking for anything at the moment, uh, fortunately. I'm going to just start Festi Ebisele. He needs playing time or he's just going to be mad. Why? What? Why did that get rejected? Uh... We offered him out, and then you, what? We're desperate to sell him, higher intermediary. Oh, yes! It's not as much as I want. Uh, 
Uh, 21 to 30 at 8%. It's definitely a better deal. I'm going to try offering him out for uh, 33 million as well, since that seems to be the value that he's kind of around. Uh, the Audrin thing, I'm a little concerned we're not going to get the money because that was a glitch we've run into before. And that, that money, you know, the 24 million. Being able to get that would be very nice. Being able to actually put, you know, like 21, 22 million into my transfer budget. That would take us to like 68 million. And then we would only need maybe one more sale. Like if we sell Gamera, we're basically there. It is a battle. Okay, so he and he's fine. Okay, so we're getting increasingly desperate on the Vuskovic sale. Nico Audrin's ready to go. Vuskovic working on it. Simone Skoda. We've attracted a little more interest, which is good. Now, what if we looked at an intermediary? No. No? Okay. Does his agent hate me that I keep asking? I've always been curious about that. Yeah, he's starting to hate me a little bit. All right. Let's try not to be overzealous with that then. All right, let's see what happens. But I guess it's going to happen after this match because we've got a way against Everton. So let's go win. Yeehaw. Where's Doig? Doig should uh, definitely be up here. All right, we're, we're running the same team with Festi Ebisele out there. Just because he needs, I believe it's a playing time promise on Festi Ebbas LA. So Audrin and Gamera should be leaving by the deadline day. Okay. And then Coyote will be satisfied the longer we just make him feel wanted at the club. I'm going to go ahead and trigger that one-year extension to give us the time to do that. Okay. Whew. Rodriguez, Tell, Chikichi, uh, Indrik, Guerra, Seca, Vandeven, Inacio, Rosales, Ebisele, Kasper, Gangsted. What are they running? How original? A 4-2-3-1 four, uh, four, with two defensive midfielders. Time to run these boys off the field. We owe them. We definitely owe them. We definitely owe them. Let's go, boys. Love you, Zeal, but I can't root against my toffees. I understand. That's fine. But we're winning anyways. Don't get greedy again. I am always greedy, man. I should offer uh, Audrin out for more money as well. Which I could give you some. I have 404 million in my Velez save. Dude, I love when a save gets to the point when you just don't even need all the money that you have. I wish. Time to erase them as a concept. Oh, I'm, I'm working on it. We're going to do our best. We're going to do our best. But Sanders Salamander, thank you so much for the 28 months. Thanks for supporting the stream. Freaking over two years. What's up, Z? What's up? Oh, Mr. Rymo, thank you for the 14 months. Man, that Selindra crowd's really quiet right now. Oh, it's an absolute banger from Indrik. Oh, they are pressing. They are pressing. All right, here's how we're going to deal with that. Um... On the doo doo doo. All right, that that should be good. Just put another guy in support so that Shigichi can drop in and pick the ball up. Well defended, my good man. Well defended. <whistles> but Rymo, I got your joke. I had a runny nose yesterday, and my girlfriend started laughing. I replied, you might think it's funny, but it's not. I, you know, I, I'm going to go. It's not bad. I'm going to go with a B. I'm not hitting the, you know, I understand chat. Chat's coming in with the, it makes you feel things, right? It makes you feel that cringe. You like ball up inside, you know. Ugh.
What did Hendrick do in Europe? Nothing. Uh, you know, Hendrick's a really good player, which is why we would only take a lot of money for him. Is he, an, uh, you know, is he a great? No. Is he irreplaceable? No. But he's a really, really good player who can produce a moment of quality like that that could really, really help. He's a match winner type uh, forward when he's on. See, they might really be pressing, but we we are also really pressing. Nice try. Mickey Vandevin's like the fastest dude you're ever going to come across in that spot, but good effort. Seca, oh, in the air. God. You think he'd be able to figure that out with his 20 vision? Oh, nice, Rodriguez. Uh, yeah, that's the benefit of having a dude that can play center back at striker. Very good in the press. All right, we I don't like that Guerra's been dragged all the way over here. That means we're pretty open right there, actually. All right, keep it up. Keep playing. Certainly not dominating the game. Hendrick's really going to want to sit by. No, I mean, Hendrick's going to be... I would guess playing striker uh, in the front three will be Mbappe, Vinicius, and, and Endrick. Like when he, when, once he's comfortably in the Real Madrid team. That, that's my guess about how they're going to try and line up and play. But who freaking knows? Wait, is Quincy in prison? Wait, really? I've been following that lore intensely. No, he was can wait, hold on. Well, he's in jail in UAE. Yeah, he's awaiting his hearing on uh, the traffic violation. He's in jail in the UAE. He's waiting on the hear his hearing is like early April for a traffic violation. And then the judge is also going to decide whether he should be extradited to uh, the Netherlands. No, in the UAE, it's literally, it was like a hit and run that he was involved in. Well, the problem is the UAE and the Netherlands have an extradition treaty, so that's just like A+, plus, A grade, weaponized stupidity. Because you're literally trying to avoid the fact that you have a nine-year jail sentence in the Netherlands for drug trafficking. This is a player that has 50 caps for the national team of the Netherlands, by the way. Uh, and now he got arrested because he tried to fly out of the country after he was found to have been involved in a hit and run, basically. And so now the judge is going to decide, you know, he's got his hearing on that traffic incident. And then he's got the judge deciding whether he's going to get extradited. Now, I don't know what goes into that decision at all. Okay, we'll take a pen. I don't know if we deserve to be in the lead here, but we'll take a pen. Okay, but that's yes. I'm very invested in the Quincy Promise thing. Uh, very. I find it fascinating how ridiculous it is. They put people in jail for a traffic violation. Well, I mean, okay, traffic violate like the dude didn't get a parking ticket. It was a hit and run. <laughs> so like, it was. It, it not only was it a hit and run. Right, he didn't report later that it happened. They didn't, like, he he got caught at the airport. God, dude, what happened to him? He used to be such a good penalty taker. Anyways. But yeah, I'm like, look, if I'm somebody that stabbed my cousin, right, and got caught, like, got caught in a drug trafficking sting, and let's say I had no moral compass where, like, I want to turn myself in and turn my life around and see my family again. Why on earth would you, like, if I was in a country that had an extradition treaty to the Netherlands, I'd be on my best possible behavior. I wouldn't be trying to sneak out of the country after being involved in a hit and run. Like, it's crazy. I, I couldn't tell you what's going through his mind. Sometimes those are just the most fascinating things to follow. Because you're just like, I, I don't know what he's going to do next. Like, it's just insane what he's chosen to do. I'm going to go with Marcelo Enrique for the second half. 
Guerra's on the bad rating because of the miss pin. Wasn't playing well before that. And we've got a match against Manchester United in three days. We also have deadline day before that. We'll make sure he's all right. Probably nothing. That's true. There is probably a severe lack of things going through his head. Uh, we do need to step up, though. I feel like uh, I feel like we're getting caught a little deep, sagging off a little bit once they get a pass up the field. This is not a formation in which we want to be inviting pressure. And that would be why. That's my former player, by the way. I should have thought of that change one stoppage earlier. Should have thought of that change one stoppage earlier. All right. Things are getting spicy, chat. So in the U.S., you probably get a life sentence, dude. I, I am not aware of the legal specifics at play here, obviously. Uh, I won't pretend to be. Thank goodness. But that dude got caught moving a lot of drugs. <laughs> that guy, that brother got caught moving a lot of drugs, okay? He got caught moving a lot of drugs. Uh, he, uh, he was surprised at how small the sentence was just from, like, living in the U.S. and having experience with, like, how much prison time people would normally get for that sort of thing in the U.S. Okay, so we're going to switch tactics now. We're going to look to control this match a lot more than we have up to this point. That was a lovely goal. We're going to bring in Josh Doig. Thank you, George the Hammer. Goal! Child Detective, thank you so much for the gifted sub as well. I appreciate you making Elite Fargus's day, week, month, year, giving him the ad-free experience and supporting the channel with kindness, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's true. And he stabbed his cousin. But the funny thing is they figured out he stabbed his cousin while they were, they were, they were only investigating him for the drug charge. And then while he was on a wiretapped phone, he admitted to stabbing his cousin. So, dude's got layers. It's like an onion. Except unlike Shrek, not a good onion. It's a bad onion. <laughs> Camp, thank you for the gifted sub. Wow. I appreciate you supporting the stream with kindness. Going out to, to share the love this fine Friday. He shot, no, he uh, stabbed his cousin. Unless something really new and surprising came out, he stabbed his cousin. Who is still alive. He didn't, like, murder his cousin, but he stabbed him. Nice block. All right. I'm okay with that from old Mark Rodriguez. Get the defense reset. Get control of the match. Not a great road team right now, are we? Not a great road team. I do have some subs. Let's explore our various options. Doig's nervous. Marcelo Enrique's nervous. Love the nerves, boys. Absolutely love them. Let's try Rajovic slipping into that spot right there. Kieran Tall continues to just be bad. So we're just going to go with Mujahid Kaya because he's a very good player. But we're going to complete. Uh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dilf him. I'm going to dilf him. Uh, apprehensive right back, Festi Ebizele. Well, that's where uh, Kaode comes in. He's hesitant. That is not where Kaode comes in. Well, I mean, apprehensive or hesitant. This is a pick your poison option. Fine, I'm going to go with Kaode. I swear if you screw me, man. You should not be that weirded out, dude. You play all the time. He's just a little, you know, he's a little bit out of shape. Regevich. Hendrick. Mm -hmm. Not scared enough to take that shot, though. Hell yeah. Oh, Red, Red. Oh, yes. Jiggy Cheat. George! 
terrible shot. He is way too good of a finisher to be shanking that. God, hammer that hard near post. Is it that difficult? Play it short. I uh, know. Yeah, well, he did already score one in this game, so never mind. We through deadline day yet? No. Deadline day is right after this match. We would love to go in it with a three-point performance, but not happy with the way we, we played so far in this game. I am going to go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity to turn this stuff on. And I am definitely going to drop Doeg and put you as a ball winner and put you on support. All right. Oh, yeah! There you go! It's big Gonzalo Inacio! And it's 3-0, 1-3-1, definitely 3-1. I think calm down helps players in those moods. Well, hopefully that goal helped. Yeah, the goal seems to have steadied everybody. We did not deserve to win this game. Uh, or at least we definitely didn't deserve to win it by multiple goals. We, um, we need to be careful. We're, we're learning how we think we want our team to play this year. We definitely need to be careful starting the way that we started this game. Thoughts on the Liverpool manager race? Dude, I did not see Xabi Alonso. I did not see that coming. Xabi Alonso stepping out and going, yeah, I'm staying. Uh, dude, I thought it was I thought it was Bayern or Liverpool. Bayern and Liverpool just started a five alarm fire because of what Xavi Alonso said. That was stunning to me. Well, also, okay, let's keep some perspective on this. Xavi Alonso has a release clause as a manager that kicks in in 2025. So Xavi Alonso is still going to leave at some point, I believe. I think he's just, he's got his eyes further down the road. Whether that's on Real Madrid or not, I don't know. But I think he's got his eyes further down the road. And I think he's also, I mean, his team's unbeaten. He's unbeaten in the Bundesliga right now. Um, Like, not, not a lot of managers are ever able to get their team into that position. Um, man, I was just wishing there was an offer out there somewhere, brother. All right, September 1st is deadline day. Oh, there's a transfer offer? Loan offer for Skoda. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I appreciate the thought, the opportunistic poaching going on. And we may win. Here again. Uh, KO day contract extension triggered EA. So happy at the club because he feels like he was forced out. EA. What? Wants to leave following a contract extension being triggered at a time where he was upset at the club? I did not know that was a thing. Logically, it makes sense. I'm just upset. Okay, well, I've created a bigger problem for me. So I can negotiate this, right? Because this is an intermediary fee. This is Augsburg, right? I'm going to go up for like 35. Dear God. I just did that with the Audrin deal and it worked. What do you mean that didn't work? That was not even far. Audrin, I went up six. No, I went up seven on Audrin, and it was more of a percentage of the total value than that one. I that, that's harsh. That's that's a harsh one. That is that is a harsh one. Yeah, because that was uh, you know monkey see monkey do. I had already done uh, I'd already done that once, and it had worked out fine. So I went back to that well, and it didn't work. Oh, uh, this is another offer. All right. Uh, do you have uh, like 28? I mean, you probably don't. Um, 
Uh, yeah, that that's fine. We already have a $24 million offer accepted, so I just wanted to see if we could go above that. Vuzkovic still doesn't really want to leave, and that is pretty evident in the way this is all going. Uh, we will try to scrape the pennies together to get ourselves this one great player. Oh, okay. So we do have Audrin. Now, that intermediary report just has to do with the size of the offer they think they'll be able to get, like, initially. So they, the offer will be between 21 and 30 or whatever. So Audrin's going to leave today. Ideally, we'll get, like, $21.5 million to come in from that. Uh, we'll still be about forty million short. Uh, fifteen hours left. Yeah, we'll still be about forty million short. Um, just wanted to check that one more time. Uh, okay. Um, what's up? Gomera looks unlikely to be registered. Don't have time to discuss these sorts of things today. Yeah, we um we spent a long time hammering that these are gonna be like random loan offers. I can feel it. If these are good offers for uh for us, I'm over the moon, but I feel like these are gonna be random loan offers that I don't care about. I just have a, a really sneaky feeling that that's what they're gonna be. Where is he? Uh, Belchior Canelio. There you go. Premier League registration. Don't worry. We'll hit that at the end of the day. Uh, loan offer for... Okay, no. Simone Skoda loan offers. Sick. I uh, know. We are not looking to just get him off the team. Oh, that's Shepa Mavumo. That's the other one. Okay, I was like, that is low. Augsburg had made an offer. Uh... All right, we got another offer in for Nico Audrin, uh, which is sick. I'm glad somebody bounced back with that. Um, he really wants to go to Charleroi for some reason, but I believe he will go to this other one. So Augsburg, onward and upward. A bit of a roll of the dice, but uh we're gonna need everything we can get and to be perfectly honest i don't think we're gonna get all of our deals done the way things are shaping up right now so i'm thinking we just want to try and maximize value and spend the time to make sure that we can get what we want out of these deals because i don't think schwartz is going to be in the realm of possibility at this particular moment um unfortunately we'll see if that corner turns you never know when the giant offers come again but I like my scouts just kick into absolute overdrive on deadline day, though. That is fun. I do enjoy that. CD Jada, Adam Karabach, Marquinhos, Luan. Hendrik won a goal of the month. It must have been that free kick, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the free kick that we just saw. That was a pretty crazy hit. Oh, and a monthly staff meeting? Yeah, dude, I got all day. Sure, man. Sounds good to me. What's Tottenham's rep? Four and a half stars. Uh, four and a half stars. Wish me luck. Won the Champions League. Now it's time to bring Montpellier to the top. <laughs> luck. If you do Gamera for 26 and an academy player, I bet you can scrape the money. Yeah, the problem is the, the, rep, the, the value of those academy players, it's just having played a lot, like it's just not nearly as high as, as the game is the game's like generated value for those players is you're just not going to be able to sell them for that amount of money. You'd be lucky to get like three. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm probably actually gonna have to lower this. Is he okay with that? No. All right. Uh, 
That's a shame. I really like KO Day. But I don't know if we're going to be able to salvage that. We basically have a year to try and just treat KO Day right, and then hopefully he just becomes... Uh, Hopefully he just becomes happy again. Hopefully he finds his happiness. All right, we'll uh, we'll sort by value. Be able to check our ages here. We've got um, seventeen-year-old Jamal Bailey, Maximus Sergeant. No immediate interest for Maximus. Already offering out for uh for something else. Tommy Jones would be an interesting one. He's freaking sixteen though. That's the other issue with selling young players. They are very often have just signed kind of new contracts and settled into being down here. You see current potential and current ability uh, with the editor, uh, without the editor, no. But there are other, like, apps that allow you to do it. This is why there can never be, like, any competitive FM, is there's always a way to, like, look behind the, uh, there's always a way to, like, look behind the game, you know? Uh, all right. We'll float a couple of offer outs. I, I imagine they won't even hit by today. Uh, but we did just get a transfer. I'm assuming it's a loan for Maximus Sergeant, which we actually like. You're interested? Thank you, Maximus. I'm glad we could find something for you. I would be stunned if we can't get a deal for Gamera. There are so many freaking teams interested in Hector Gamera. Bestia Bazelli has got a loan interest. Doig. I mean, but his value is terrible. He is worth so much more to me just being on the team. All right, it is uh, because you can't do offering out the same way you used to. Deadline day is not quite as exciting. It's kind of it's kind of a Jesus take the wheel moment here. Actually, you know what? That might help. Maybe if we if we if we tell if we let football manager know. If we let football manager know. It's out of our hands. Just got to let him know. All right, a lot of loans getting finalized. That's usually what's going down on this day. Sergeant's going out. All right, Audrin did take the, uh, dang it. Audrin took the 26 million. Take the wheel, 
don't take it from my hand. I can't do this on my own. Goodbye, Audrin. Have a good career, Nico. You had a good, uh, you had a good little, uh, little appearance for me right at the beginning of my my tenure here. But you're gonna have a you're gonna have a really good time at Augsburg, I believe. Thank you for getting me 26 million, 25 million of which will be added up. Uh, the youth players didn't draw any interest. That doesn't surprise me. Uh, we'll float Tommy for I don't know, friggin' ten. Maybe that'll help us. We've got 72 million chat. We need 35 million. We need 35 million chat. Come on, transfer guides, take the wheel. Give me an offer. Please. I can't do this on my oh oh no what a tease Come on. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Now we need 37 million. And I don't think Hector, Hector Gamara can't get us that. I do. Hector Gamara is the one that angers me. Because we have been on, we have been hammering the Hector Gamara move. The literally the entire transfer window we've been working on it. And uh, there's there's just nothing. There's just nothing out there. There's just nothing out there. Clauses aren't going to cover thirty nine million. I mean, uh, what is two hundred fifty seven thousand two two million four hundred thousand one point one seven million. I'm looking at the wrong side. That's two point nine. Uh Five point seven eight, half a million. Yeah, if we get up, like, I can close like seven million if I need to. I should take this though. I should take this. This is they're gonna pay me nearly six million, and I only get twenty percent profit after a hundred forty-one million dollar transfer. Jamie Donnelly is not leaving Manchester United for more than $141 million. I'm sorry. He's not. I'll go ahead and take that clause now. Thank you very much. This one's $2.9 million. This is Alfie. Div now, that might be worth it, so I'm not going to sell that clause. I'll sell that clause. Oakley, share it. Oh, we might make some money off that. All right, so that just made us... 7 million. We're at 78, which means the Hector Gamera sale would do it. We just need. What's another good Jesus take the wheel type song? Anybody got some like a whole, anybody got some in that category? Me. Oh, oh yeah. In the arms of an angel? Dude, great call. Get ready to cry.
Come on, man. Give me that Gamera move. Give me Hector Gamera, 33 million. That'd be the most clutch deadline day thing that's ever happened. If that, if that comes through now, it would be the most clutch deadline day thing that has ever happened. <sighs> Come on, man. All right, before I click on it. Are you sitting at home, warm and comfortable, staring at your full plate of food? Well, look at these guys. Starving Spurs reserve players. For three easy payments of $35 million, you too could make a difference in the world and wash away the guilt of your simple and well-taken-care-of existence by adopting a spur. Imagine for a moment having to train with the U18s, being bullied on a daily basis, no food, water, or sunlight. Shame on you. The only way to remove that shame is once again three easy payments of $35 million. To start your journey to making the world a better place and taking care of these lost Tottenham Hotspurs, please call 1 800 Adopt a Spur today. That's 1 800 Adopt a Spur. Make a difference and erase your guilt with 1-800-ADOPT-A-SPUR. Thank you. Let's see if it worked. No, they're loan offers. Have a heart, people. <laughs> no. They're loans, and somebody's making an offer for Ben El Hajaj, and it's all falling apart. Damn it. It's all falling apart. We've got to go after Ben El Hajaj. They want to loan back to the end of the season. No. We're bringing him into the team because Vuskovic is going to be on the way out. It didn't work. It didn't freaking work, man. It didn't work. Oh, Ahmed Dahan has a friendly relationship with me. How the hell is that possible, dude? I've canceled this transfer twice. How do I have a friendly relationship with this guy? Uh, don't if, look, we've got to hit the Gamera like right now. If we hit the Gamera, I will cancel this move and go get Schwartz, but I don't think we're going to hit the Gamera. Ben El Hajaj. Uh. I like Ben El Hajaj. He has the room to grow. He literally just turned 20. He's nation grown. And he's the replacement for Vuskovic, who we are, of course, looking to sell, obviously. And he only wants to be a breakthrough prospect and, and grow into the team, and then we'll sell him for $50 million in a couple of years. I see the future. But signing this guy admits defeat that we will not be able to get Schwartz, and that is so saddening to me. Installments for Schwartz is a release clause. I don't think we can do that. 
But I'm stunned that I haven't tried. There's a release clause, so I don't believe they will do that. But we could try. 75 up front. And that is the release clause. That's more than the release clause. That's 110. Yeah, I figured the actual valuation that the club probably has for him is like 250 million. His release clause is just 109. Come on, another striker. Dude's literally a ball-winning midfielder that just also plays striker. I don't understand. So hard is. I'm going to try that offer. I'm also going to make sure we get Ben El, uh, ben El Hajaj. We're going to get Ben El Hajaj in. He's in 27 million. Deadline day. Poached him from Juve. What's up? We can do both of those. No, because I need the money in my account. No, we can't. That sucks. Oh, he's in. Come on. Get up. Get up. Stand up. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It expires 2033. Uh, watch this. Optional future fee. Uh, That's just gimmicky. I'm not going to do that. That's just that's just gimmicky. If I put it up at 375 million, that is clearly a gimmick. I'm obviously not going to pay it. My work though. Yeah, the mandatory cat. I, I really have never tried to do mandatory future fees before. We did that earlier in this save, and that's when I learned that you have to have the cash on hand, or I relearned it. I'm sure I knew that at some point, but no, I um yeah, I know the mandatory offer won't work, so. Now we kind of, we're we're kind of admitting defeat with the purchase of Ben El Hajaj. All right, so we basically just swapped Audrin for Ben El Hajaj. I am so disappointed we weren't able to make these sales. Like we were hammering the Hector Gamera sale from literally the start of the window and we couldn't make that sale. That is ridiculous. Like, I, I get that, like, Vuskovic and Skoda, we kind of got on late as, like, a, hey, maybe we can, uh, maybe we can do this here. But the Gamera one is just dumb, man. I mean, there's so many teams have been interested in him. And we haven't gotten an offer, f like, come on. Try to swap players. Send them Skoda, but they probably don't like Skoda. I have to continue once anyways. Okay, no offers for Skoda, Vuskovic, Gamera, any of the guys. Okay. Gilles and Semba. I don't know why he was okay with the $8 million transfer value. That was absurd. Uh...
Absolutely ridiculous, man. All right. Uh... Yo, he doesn't count against the under twenty one players anymore. Oh, yeah. Calvin doesn't count against the under 21s anymore. That's sick. Okay, uh, fine. We're going to have a juicy team, though. Our team's going to be fat. But he just turned 21, so he doesn't count against the under 21 thing. We have a limit on the number of under 21 players we can sign from abroad. It's six per season. And uh, so we, we're, we're looking like we might bump up against that this year. But um, real opportunity to make some moves here. We get Richard Vig and Calvin. Vig wants to be a star player, though, which I'm sorry. That's crazy. But let's just see. I don't believe it. I don't believe he wants to be. I know you told me he wants to be a star player, Mr. Agent Man. I don't believe it for a second. I, I, I don't think that's what's going to happen. No, sir. And then there was Calvin. Glorious 21-year-old Calvin. All right, let's uh let's see what these guys want as a contract. We're going up against the time. We're gonna be able to get uh we're gonna be able to get everybody in. Uh Calvin wants star player. So he does want, uh, yeah, there's literally no way we're going to sign Richard V. It's crazy that he wants star player. Yeah, bro, this is, uh, oh my God. Okay, I believe it. 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 You want to be a striker? I can't do that for you. What I can do, Calvin, is promise you that you are going to play a lot. Okay, and I know you've got a huge belief in your own ability here, my boy. But I'm going to need you to take something less here. I will, however... Aims for the league season R to title challenge. You probably don't care about that. I don't know. Um, send an intensive language course, obviously, because you have adaptability issues. Okay. Uh, yeah, please don't hate me. Why do you suck so much? <sighs> no, nah, you can't lower off. You cannot lower off star player. Then we have to do this. Send it. You can't lower off star player. I they they can't pull the wool over my eyes, dude. You can't lower off star player. Star player is the one thing you cannot lower off of. All right, I got one more idea. I have one more idea. It's probably not going to work and even if it does, I'm going to hate it, but I have one more idea. One more. One more plan. 
probably insane. Definitely not going to work. But I have to try it. I won't forgive myself if I don't try it. You might not know what this move is. But I'm trying it. It is some FM Jitsu here. We're going for some pure FM Jitsu. Goodness gracious, Calvin, man. You, you, you belong in Europe. You're a very good player. Let somebody sign you. Good God. And Richard Vig wanting to be a star player is insane. I'm sorry. That's crazy. That Richard Vig wants to be a star player. I guess that's why he's available on that release clause, you know? Because he scares everybody away the whole time. All right, this will not work. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> We've got an offer for Vuskovic. The intermediary came in clutch. It's 41 million of which we will get 37. Uh, not immediately. We're going to get like 30 million into our transfer budget right at that moment. Loan offer for Ben El Hajaj. Uh, mandatory future fees. That's hilarious. Why would I? I just bought him for more than that. Why would I? Why would I do that? Okay. Uh, this is Gilles in Samba. I'm going to take this because his wage is gigantic and I don't want to pay it anymore. Um, but unbelievable, uh, Unbelievable swoop there for Vuskovic right at the death. Okay, important player. Not deep lying forward, but I'm down with important player. I consider you an important player. We're going to get rid of the sell-on fee percentage. Uh, we are going to add some team of the year incentives. I'm, I'm okay paying a guy a million dollars if he makes it to the team of the year. Right, top goal score bonus at 650000 I'm going to... Chuck an assist bonus in there as well. We'll match it up with your goal bonus or make it a little lower than your goal bonus. Uh, international cap bonus as well. Every time you appear for Germany, I'll pay you 17K. Uh, I don't want to do anything crazy that's going to lose us uh, kind of touch here, but I do want to negotiate a little bit. Okay, should be able to get 13, no problem. Total value of 16 million. Still less than the contract of like Santi Jimenez, which is hilarious. Um Okay, so that money coming in is going to be nice, obviously. Um, that's going to boost the transfer budget up to like to 60 or 70 million. Okay. Uh, that was outrageously clutch that a Vuskovic. You know, if only we'd been able to sell this idiot. Goodness gracious, man. Chelsea will offer $26 million. So I think we'll get $30 million plus $26 to be $56 million. We're still not there. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take that offer. Okay, uh, that's Gamera and Vuskovic. We swapped. We got more money for Vuskovic than we spent on uh, Ben El Hajaj, uh, which was great. That was kind of what we wanted to do. Okay, and then we need the clauses. Any other clauses? Alfie Devine's 2.9 million. That is, dude, there's a potential monster windfall on this one, though. Yeah, we only, we have about 3 million worth of clauses that we can sell that we haven't sold already. I've already asked about the wage stuff.
Uh, yeah, like obviously the time's going to be really, really tight on this. I don't think there's anybody else we can make a move with unless we dump like KO Day instantly. Uh, KO Day would make sense. Um, nobody's interested in Daniel Colombo, and he's not interested in moving. He just got here. Nobody wants to actually spend money on him. Skoda 50. Let's check uh, intermediary. There's no, there's just not a lot of interest around him, but I'm okay with Skoda 50 if it gets it done. I'm okay with Skoda 50 if it gets, it, like, obviously if it gets the deal done. Vuskovic and Gamera leaving for that money. I uh, Hopefully they can finish those negotiations. I mean, we don't know. We still don't even have the offer in for Hector Gamera yet, and there's no delaying on deadline day. It's still incredibly unlikely we're going to be able to pull this off. Um, I'm just going to take a flyer on KO day. May not react well to being offered out. I mean, you're just sending really mixed signals here. Be very interested in speaking to other clubs. You're being really confusing, but I, I don't want to risk angering him even more because I do want to use him. Uh, he's also a very, very, very good player, which a lot of these other guys we're looking at, not very good players. Very important difference. And scouting budget at this level, the le the amount of money we're talking about, it's nothing. I mean, it's it's $337,000, you know. Okay, so Vuskovic and Gamera are going. We will free up some wage by dumping the uh, the other guy, but... That would close the gap if we could get Jamal Bailey out for $15 million. I realize gutting the old youth academy is not the way to go typically, but we'll launch a few of these guys into orbit, see if we can find something. Connect on like an all-time home run right at the end here. I don't think the other offer is going to come in in time. How did we just make that as bad as possible? Like, how did we manage to make that just so terrible? Instead of agreeing to the contract with us, he has now gone off. And uh, I'm glad we sold Vuskovic. I'm glad we got rid of this guy because his wage has been bothering me for a while. Those deals are done. Hopefully the Gamera deal is struck. But that's it. Yeah, Patrick Schwartz just no dice. Um Hey, OG, thank you so much for the nine months. You know, I know what he did. He he got a bigger contract at the club that he's at, obviously. And he uh, he figured that was a better deal than coming to play for us, which is insane. Uh, you know, clearly nuts move there. You know, that means is... Um, him and Pavlak are $131 million apiece. And that, I think that's it. I, I don't think we're going to be able to make any more moves now. Um, 
obviously, hopefully, whoever this Gamera offers coming in for, um, they have a longer transfer window than what we're sitting on right now. But um, I'm definitely going to save. I don't know. Tran the end of transfer windows can be weird. Uh, we've completed those two sales that were good. Um, we want to make sure that the we don't accidentally sim over any potential uh, Gamera stuff. But I I think we're pretty situated now. I think we're pretty situated now. I am very frustrated with the Calvin situation, obviously. Obviously very frustrated with the Calvin situation. Well, we will uh, hopefully if we get the Gamera deal, we'll have like a hundred million in our transfer budget. We'll be able to kind of work around that. I think we have two spots left for the whole under 21 thing. Is he not? Do you not count as that? No? Okay. Where, where, where's a really young player? <laughs> we know it. Um, okay. Oh, you have signed four under 21 players from abroad this season. So we could go grab another one right around deadline day. I don't even know if we'd have the time. There's always there's the one that keeps drawing my attention, which is Sime Janovic, but he just seems very far off of like actual first team level. He's got the one cap, but very long way to go to actually reach his potential. Julio Pondebeja, uh, I I I don't see it. He's like a ball winning midfielder striker thing. It's very confusing to me. I don't see where the world class ability is going to come in, but. Everybody on my staff is insisting that he's going to be great. Uh, and then there's Glauber, who is the defensive midfielder, the 17-year-old. Yeah, he's cheap, Schwartz. Yeah, he's like poverty, Schwartz. Really. Impoverished, Schwartz. And then there's Speed Demon Rosario Renai. We've got a lot of Speed Demons on our team. Which, you know, is good. I love having a lot of Speed Demons, but... Glauber looks great, but then he uh, his, pot his potential's not great and his athleticism kind of sucks. But technically and mentally, he's got a lot of Javi Guerra going on. Added advantage, I think if we signed him, it would be immediate. And then he would uh, he would become a, a club-grown player, like he'd be one of those club-grown guys. Kirsch bombs only 90 million. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign him. We've got two spots. I'm down to carry one under, uh, I'm, I'm down to carry one youth spot in. Hopefully we have the time. Also the Gamera thing. I want to, I want that to come up. I want the Gamera thing to come up. I want the Gamera thing to come up. All right. So the money hit, we have 81 million. The, the sad thing is we weren't able to sign Schwartz anyways. So low key, high key. We kind of got saved from some serious heartache there. Um, do we want to loan him back? Do we want to bring him over? 
What do you guys think? What would you do if you were me? Would you loan him back, have him play as a first-team player in the Liga over the course of the next season, or what? He'll join in January. Oh, he won't turn. To, he won't turn. He'll um turn eighteen anyways. Uh, so he can't move until he turns eighteen. Got it. From Brazil? No, he play. He's playing at Girona. I know he's Brazilian. Don't let that fool you. He's playing at Girona in the Liga. Um, but I guess oh, because we're in England. God. Oh, I forgot. Can't sign anybody under 18 in England because there's no, like, inter-EU going on. Uh, Yeah, we'll loan him back, I guess. All right, we'll put that there. Put that there. Uh, We will agree to a loan back of Glauber. Uh, but uh, he signs in Glauberg. What a miserable deadline day. That wasn't even on me being cheap. He said it was the playing time, but I just gave him the playing time that he requested. So I I feel very used. I feel very dirty. I feel very dirty and used. Hi, C-May. We probably won't be able to get this deal done uh, before the deadline day, but I am um, basically out of other guys that are under 21 that I would want to sign, so... We're going to go ahead and sign you and develop you in like a lone army situation. How's that sound? All right. That's a total of 5.5 million for a guy that's got an appearance with uh, Croatia. I doubt where I, there's no way we're going to actually be able to get this done, but yeah, I'm okay with the loan. Uh, yeah, that's a totally reasonable deal. Um, and don't cancel the transfer. Just let me get it done and let him join in January. Don't cancel the transfer. Do not cancel it. They canceled it. That doesn't even make any sense. I can still negotiate it. That's not even realistic. Boo! Just because we weren't able to submit the paperwork in time does not mean the transfer is dead in the water and has to end. That is not how that works. Ridiculous. Lies and slander. What a deadline day. At least we sold a lot of the guys we wanted to sell. Who knows what happened to that offer that we were supposed to get for Gamera. I guess maybe that comes in today or something. Not Lazuz. Not Gamera. Oh, uh, that's the cap. So anybody upset? We need our backup goalkeeper. Uh, so we're going to have to drop somebody. Which will be, uh, we've got fringe player Festia Bazzelli, who's not going to be worried about getting dropped. So Luca Jash. Oh, but Festia Bazzelli has got to be in there because he's the fourth homegrown. So we've got Impact Sub Simone Skoda. That's the guy. Simone Skoda is not registered, so we can get Luca Jash into our registration. No Colombo, no Belchior Canelia, which he's fine with. No Ben El Hajaj. Um, running three center backs for the league play. Obviously, no Hector Gamera, as he has surplus to requirements, and we are searching any and all possible opportunities to move him off of this team. And part of that is not registering him for the Champions League to encourage him to move to any of those weird transfer windows that are still open. Okay, so no Benel Hajaj, no Skoda, no Canelio, no Inglian McAvoy. Actually, we can just register Inglian McAvoy. Technically, I can register Hector Gomer for the Champions League as well just because they're both club-grown players. No reason not to do that. Um, let's go to our youth teams. 
vast majority should be under 21. Let's choose Jesus Real. Dude, how long has Real been here? That guy's like an actual academy player. Weird. All right. No other options down there. I really don't want to bring Gamera. I'm going to bring him. And I'm going to give him a new contract, and I'm going to pretend I didn't hate him and wanted to sell him the entire time. As one must. That is the only way we don't lose him for free now. Because all of the windows are closed from all of the teams that are interested in him. So the only way we don't lose Gummer for free is we extend his contract on a short-term basis, and we just have to live that way. I have to live my life full of hatred and shame, staring at Hector Gamera through the glass. He's got a frigging playing time promise I'm going to have to meet, too. I am so miserable here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Anybody else on the transfer list that shouldn't be? Shouldn't have anybody on the transfer list. Okay. Daniel Colombo on the loan list. Yes. Miguel Lachuz. I will have him on the loan list. Just in case. Okay. All right. Gamera, playing time promise. What's your expected playing time? Well, now it's, it's surplus to requirements. So I'm going to move it up to fringe player. Uh, okay. That should be good. We should be able to just, like, play him in a match and it'll be fine. God, that sucked. Sorry. Rolick, thank you for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, Vicious, thank you for the 19 months. Can I donate my firstborn? That would have helped. Hipster Zombie, thank you for the prime. Andrew, thank you for the three months. Just ordered a chicken and egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. Oh, uh, C+. Plus. I feel like I heard it recently, Andrew, but it is a good dad joke. I can't go into the Ds or Fs for that. OG, thank you for the nine months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. And then Hjorth Tequila with the 34 months. I actually remember hearing this one. Uh, how was the Viking party? It was pretty low-key. Oh, there's the offer. Oh. Okay. What do you think we should do? That or I have to satisfy his playing time promise and we like have to make everything work and give him a short-term contract and eventually look to move him later. What do you think we should do, Lance? Do you think we take that deal or do you think we uh, do anything else? I think we'll end up with like 22, 23 million going towards the club by the time this uh, this deal is done to move Hector Gamera. They get better in January. I mean, if we satisfy him and give him a few, give him a few games, he should be worth more than what people are paying for him. I mean, he has five appearances for Argentina. He has value to us as a player that is club grown. Um, he's shown flashes of being really, really good. He's not, but he has, you know, he has been a part of the team. Oh, uh, made seven appearances in the Champions League last year for us. He's getting heavier. He literally gained two pounds since he got here. Somebody introduce him to something other than the full English, please. No, I'm selling him. I'm selling him. I'm taking it. I don't want to deal with him anymore. I'm selling him. I'm taking it. I, I really, I don't want to deal with him anymore. We have to do too many things. We'd have to satisfy his playing time, negotiate a new contract, wait for that new contract to be gone. What, to get 13 more million? I'd rather sell him and get on with it. They I mean, bought him for 19, or bought him for 9 million when he was like 18 years old. He's a club grown player. He just go. Be free, my young prince. And that would give us enough money to try to negotiate for Schwartz, but of course we're not gonna. Not going to get that because 
Schwartz, I, I got stood up by two different players in the transfer window, and I am not happy about it. All right, who's not able to play today? Uh, so we're going to try this, I think. This is a way. This is at home. Okay, yeah, we'll be aggressive here. Uh, Shikichi's not able to play. We do have old Polly McIntosh here. Everybody loves Polly McIntosh. Yeah, I definitely want him to dribble more. I definitely want him to move into channels. I want him to spice things up. I want Mujahid Kaya to be dangerous. I want him to be very dangerous from there. Drill Hato, let's go. That means that we have Mark Rodriguez, and we can stick Mark Rodriguez right here as a ball winner on defend. And that means our big $20 million man... Javi Guerra is going to be hanging out right here. And that also means that where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? This is a more good looking type of first team here. So Enrique is actually off. Simone Skoda's in there. Okay, this is League Cup third round. Rather inexplicably, we are already playing Manchester United, but we are putting a good team out. So it is Gangstead, who's already improving. Like we're already we're already seeing the flashes of the ability from Casper Gangstead. What a deal that was. I'm gonna make him the starter also. He um he's currently on backup uh first choice goalkeeper. Delighted to be here, Gangstead. You're that dude. Okay, Rosales. Actually, should we put Jash out there? Nah, it's Manchester United. If it was like the local YMCA, maybe. A hedgehog. Uh, I know he's cup tied anyways. And apparently one yellow card away from suspension in this competition already. Had a big round last round. So Rosales, Coyote, Guerra, Rejevich, Konda, Canelio, Shikichi, and Simone Skoda. Can you ever not be hurt? George, I mean, just those little nagging muscle injuries that you seem absolutely expert at picking up. Let's start with Javi Guerra and then go to Mark Rodriguez because Guerra seems more rested. What are you up to? 75 minutes, Jarrell? You'll be fine. I have a lot of faith, Jarrell. I have a lot. Lou Sherelle Geertruda. Okay, and that guy. The League Cup third round. It is already complicated. You guys should like me. I know we've got some new faces around the team, but you guys should like me. Mark is the cheeky fourth center back. He is. I mean, he's registered for the Champions League and everything. Uh, ben, L ben the Hog is definitely going to be a part of it. Oh, good handshakes. Good handshakes. Let's go, boys. That's former Tottenham Hotspur player up there as well, Jamie Donnelly. That's what I freaking thought. I think Indrick will find love. Yes. I think Indrick will have a moment this season that makes everybody uh, in this community appreciate what he's capable of. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just put 12 minutes with him on what I don't want him on. All righty. Good ball. Interesting choice. Goal! Oh, I believe Hendrick has found love. And after a dour deadline day full of near misses, 
Tottenham Hotspur have the lead against Manchester United, thanks to Hendrik. Aha, he has found the love. Ooh, there he is again! Oh, Hendrik! Sensational! It's a brilliant quick-fire double from Hendrik. And it's a 2-0 lead in the League Cup. Oh, thank you. That's sick, dude. That was deadline day. Um, good things happened that were like a surprise. Like we found a, a deal for a guy, a couple people we'd been meaning to sell. Uh, almost all of them, which was good, but Schwartz didn't want to come to us. Uh, he renegotiated a deal with Leipzig, and then we went for a kind of secondary option, and um, that deal was not uh, possible. Oh, come on. We got shredded. Oh, Dudley! Maybe you should have stayed, huh, bud? No, Anthony is a Manchester United legend in this save. He has stayed and stayed and stayed. They just bought Arta Galera for like 93 million. Uh, doo, 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 doo. There you go, Casper Gangstead. Good save. Is Hendrik the real player that was born in 2006? Uh, yes. Correct, Mundo. We bought him for 85 million from Real Madrid. He wasn't quite breaking into the first team, but we knew he could be a, uh, a really good, we had a hole at that position. We knew he could be a really good player for us and we brought him in. And, uh, yeah, dude, we're, we're up 2-0 against Manchester United. I'm happy with the way it's going. They just brought in Ashley Phillips, Mason Mount, and Jonah Kusiasar. I'm kind of scared of Jonah Kusiasar. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to keep it a stack. He is a free. He's scary. He's very big. 19 jumping reach. The Swede. Ashley Phillips is my former player, who we sold to them for, like, $55 million. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but we missed on Calvin. We missed on Glauber. Uh, we weren't able to get Schwartz. Don't think we ever would have been able to get Schwartz because he just renegotiated his contract with uh, Salzburg. Delusional Odegaard fan. Thank you for the eight months. I appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Now, we wouldn't mind resting Mark for a game. He wasn't, like, completely and fully fit, so I don't think I'm going to bring him off the bench as long as we're doing well here. Good hands, Casper. I know it's early, but we haven't really played a game where Casper was, like, the number one issue. For a guy that was 19 playing in the Danish League last year, that's huge. That's got to be a goal. I'm sorry. When you're the best midfielder in the world, you've got to crush that. Tried to finesse it. Weird. Constantelius was sold to, I believe it was Lens, uh, for $65 million. It was $65 million. It was a uh, Lens, maybe Nice. Uh, maybe Lille was one of the big French teams that seemed to have a lot of money going in this save. Oh, Saka, you just teed him up. Wow, they've hit both posts in like two minutes. The first one was a crazy shot that almost went in. That was really bad from Saka, who is not awake today. All right, McIntosh. I'm loving him with the hugs line trait. He's doing a lot more of what I wanted him to do, which is not a lot. Pick the ball up and run. Mateo, thank you for the two months. Appreciate you supporting the stream, dude. Did Nottingham Forest appeal their point deduction? Yeah, of course. Everybody does. It's like part of the code, dude. You, you get a point deduction, and then you just appeal it immediately. Play it. Dude, that, I mean, there's so many options there, Mickey. Play it. Thank you. They're beautiful. Paul McIntosh!
He's on. He's on. Come on now. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. Good pass by Vandeven. He got a second chance. He made the most of it. This is a tidy finish by Paul McIntosh. He finally did something, I know. Dude's been an $80 million winger, Paul McIntosh. Has size, athleticism, really good attacking skill set. Been doing diddly squat since he got here. So that was nice. Uh, Bellarmino Seca, you're mine. For To, like, sub out, dude. That's, that's it. Uh, <laughs> that going after you? Belchior Canelio. And what are we thinking? KO day. Probably pick up Mickey Vandeven. All right. Try to see this result through in the time remaining. Thank you. We are up 3 0. Oh. It'd probably be good for you. So, I mean, how much adapting do you need to do? You're English and you were playing at another Premier League team. You know, like, I feel like that's a much easier. That's a really easy bit of adapting to do. All right, Regevich, Indrik, that would be nuts. But he's on a hat trick. Can't hate. Oh, dude, I thought we had the ball there with the way that camera moved in the corner of my eye. Oh, Mac, good. Come on, Mac. This isn't a big match. I mean, it is a cup match against Manchester United. It's not a small match. Not a lot of small matches, honestly, when you're playing at this level. Look at the hustle from the captain there, Rico. Burning back. Pick that ball up. All right. Guerra, Coyote, Inacio, Lerejevic. There we go. This is, we are really good at home, man. We need to we need to find something that's going to make us a little bit better on the road, but we are really good at home. Canelio, oh. Traycott's really good. I, I he's on my short list. Phillips is not good with the ball, so that that's what should be happening. Oh, you're not you're not getting that. Oh, but Rico is. Oh, but Rico Lewis is. Dang it. McIntosh, hey, hey, that was probably off. I guess it wasn't. <sighs> I should use that last sub. I also, I've got to be better about this. I've got to switch us over to this tactic and, and see games out better. Cause that also, it you know, it also uh, it helps the legs of the players, especially when we're going through all this fixture congestion. And I don't, I don't have to switch all the set piece stuff over. So there's no reason not to. Why are replays inverted? Because I'm inverted. Uh, oop. Cause I have this reversed. We can unreverse it. Do a little mind bending. Uh, I kind of like to watch the replays at a different angle, but. It was something I also, like, noticed every time, so might as well just turn it off. That was really good by Canelio. Oh, Regevich, he's probably off. He wasn't. What a miss. Oh, dear, is what the bottom just said. That's the Simone Skoda I know. Although he is normally a good garbage man. Normally he cleans up the trash pretty well. But we have taken out the trash today. We have dominated Manchester United. Good to have Jarrell Hato back. Played a full 90. No issues. Probably won't start him in the next match, but very good to have him back in the field. Uh, all right. That's a good win. Chat, that is a good win. Mateo, thank you for the two months. I appreciate you. Uh, good. Good win. That was, that was a very healthy win after a deadline day where we did not, unfortunately... Uh, we did not get everything we wanted. I, wi I, w I wish we did, but we didn't. Any plans to see any of the Euro games live? I didn't have any of those.
Uh, Intel. Oh, Arsenal nearly got knocked out. They won on pens. Leicester advances on pens. Villa advances on pens. Sunderland just knocked out Newcastle. The scenes there. Sunderland knocks out Newcastle in the League Cup. Oh, goodness. Newcastle. Egg in the face there. If I'd had the Hong Kong takeover, I would have had the window I wanted. Yeah, but I apparently that is just not going to happen. So, <laughs> very clear that's just not going to happen. I, yeah, I'm happy we got Ben El Hajaj. Ben El Hajaj. That's one of the three guys we wanted. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he's going to be our fourth center back. Uh, he's going to get playing time in the league this season. He very well might be playing in the next match. Uh, we'll, we'll see how Inacio's feeling. Yeah, and I think I, I, you know he's we. My scouts think he has potential. I already think he's a good player. He's replacing Vuskovic in the team. All right, awesome. And we're into the fourth round of the League Cup. This is awesome. What do you see in uh, El Hajaj? I see a player that is never going to be a great ball playing defender, but has a very good uh, mental baseline. Good athlete, great jumping reach, technically very sound as a defender. He's homegrown, no adaptability issues with him coming into the team either. And um, he's young and he's got a lot, you know, he's got six years left of development, which is really nice. And it looks like he's got potential in there that if he reaches, I think he'd be better than Ashley Phillips, who I liked, but we sold for like 55 million last year. So it's good to get another guy with English nationality in that's able to able to take that spot. And, uh, you know, it's just a lot better to have a guy like that than uh, Vuskovic, really, because Vuskovic is, um, you know, he's 24. I don't think there's a lot, there's no really room to grow for him. Just get the money that we can get and um, on to the next. So, uh, no, no. No, you're going to, uh, yeah, you're going to start. Those four guys, though, they need more match sharpness. Okay. Anybody in a lower division? Crystal Palace away. Exactly what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> Couldn't have dreamed it up any better. Q, thank you so much for the prime. If I, did, I might have already said that. feel like I'm hallucinating, but I appreciate that. Standard Rossoneri, I love that. The vibes in that copy pasta are fantastic. I think we should have that as a copy pasta. The dance in hands. Yeah, we'll turn up the tunes. You know, we can groove a little bit. Yeah, we can get some grooving going, you know? Oh, lay on those keys. Oh, Yarkin, thank you for the seven months. Do, 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 do. I'm looking fresh as ever. Thank you. I'm feeling funky fresh today. <laughs> da, 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 Is this anywhere near the NCI? This is not, I don't think this is the NCI. This is Bob O'Reilly by The Who. Excellent. Great vibes. Oh. Uh, 
Not really. I know that's like part of the hexagon challenge if you're trying to win the Champions League on all six continents. Um, your mother had a question for you? Yeah, no, I, uh, my mother, I am aware. I actually have an alarm that's about to go off in two minutes. So, mother, are you mother, are you satisfied? Because, as you probably know, if you were in the Discord already, the reason the stream was so late today is I had a bunch of appointments that we had to hit today, uh, and then I wanted to get on and stream at least for a bit, but the stream was never going to be too long because I am flying home tonight. So that is where we're going to leave it. Uh, but we will be streaming regular schedule. Uh, we'll just be streaming from home, so no streams will be missed. Uh, we've got a stream set up at home. We'll be playing uh, the save. I just got to throw it up into the cloud so I can bring it uh, to Tampa with me. Uh, but I got to get to the airport and fly to Tampa. So that's going to be great. Thank you, guys. We're going to raid somebody. So even if you're about to hop off, maybe for the evening, uh, do stick around for that. We're going to make somebody's day here. But um, thank you guys so much. I'm sorry I was late today, but I really appreciate the people that uh, were able to make it anyways and hang out. Love you guys. Fist bump. Thank you for all the subs as well for supporting the stream. It really does make uh, make a huge difference. Can we get a, a vibe? Oh, yeah, there we go. We can vibe on our way out, right? Oh. But, yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday. I hope you have a great weekend. Can't wait for, uh, you know, Sunday. It's going to be some big, big matches this weekend. And, of course, City Liverpool is going to be an absolute banger. Or, or No, it's not City. It's City, Um. oh, God, City Arsenal. Zealand knows what he's talking about, right? Anyways, let's find somebody to raid, dude. I, I, ooh, I appreciate it. Let's find somebody to raid. All right. Yeah, I got to make sure I remember to upload. All. I, yeah, I have to, like, upload basically a zip file that I can then download in Tampa. For the streams, brother. There's my alarm going off. Timed it perfectly. You know, I know what I'm doing. That's uh, all. That's all I can say. I know what I'm doing. All right, let's go make this dude's day. Let's go make this dude's day, shall we? Again, thank you guys. I had a lot of fun today. We kind of borked the deadline day. I feel like I'm not as good at deadline days as I used to be because the offer outs have to happen earlier. Uh, maybe I got to trust the process that some sort of offer is going to come in at some point. But I learn from that experience and try and be better in deadline days in the future. New video came out this morning. It's the best FM memes. So if you love those videos, be sure to check it out. Zealandisms, I think literally one of them went up while I was streaming today. But you know, you know the deal with Zealandism. There's two every day. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. All right, where, word of the day is... Braggadocio. Wow, that's loud. Braggadocio. Uh, braggadocio is B-R-A-G-G-A-D-O-C-I-O. Braggadocio refers to brash and self-confident boasting. That is the annoying or exaggerated talk of someone who is trying to sound very proud or brave. His braggadocio hid the fact that he felt personally inadequate. Ooh, wow, dictionary.com. Cutting deep today. <laughs> See you guys at the end of another stream for another word of the day. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.